We said that Dr. Heinemann, like Mr. William Sessler, who was the forerunner of the science of biochemistry, decided to analyze the body according to the minerals that were missing or deficient would determine a disease, which was again consistent. They said that if iron is lacking in the body, well, naturally, the body would suffer anemia or some state of anemia. Anemia, hypoglycemia, leukemia, sickle cell anemia. But if the body is lacking of calcium, then the bones would be stressed. You present it with rickets or osteoporosis, which is the breaking of the bones, cracking of the bones. That was also consistent. Where they failed is that when they decide to use the substance to replace the minerals that is deficient, they used an oxide. An oxide. What is an oxide? An oxide is a rock that you find in the ground. An oxide is what you make steel out of. So we'll explain because this has not been properly explained to the general public. If someone is anemic, the doctor would diagnose and properly assess that iron is lacking. That is consistent. We have 28 years of showing that. When iron is deficient, then you'll be weak, you'll be anemic, you'll be lacking of energy. In fact, your very thoughts are not clear. They cannot be clear when iron is lacking because iron is the mineral that conveys oxygen to the brain. Where they made a mistake, instead of offering the iron that is consistent with the human body, meaning that the iron that is supposed to be recommended should be one that has carbon, Hydrogen and oxygen, the CHO chain. That is not found in the oxide state, which is the rock. You see, the rock, the iron oxide, is what they use to make a bridge with. Steel. The body cannot assimilate a rock. But if we use our common sense and look for a plant that has iron as the predominant mineral, then naturally common sense could show us that. If this plant that is carbon-based and the human body being carbon-based, there is affinity that is called chemical affinity. Because there is affinity, there is assimilation. <laughs>